The Louis Arce Award is an award that we, uh, as board of directors, initiated, uh, gosh, it's, it may be uh, 15, 17 years ago. Um, one of our uh, initial board members, Louis Arce, um, died at a very young age, and we decided to honor him um, by, with, with uh, an annual award in, in his name. And we, call, we have called it over the years the Louis R.C. Success Award, and um, it recognizes um, lifelong work of someone working in community on a very grassroots level, one-on-one -on -one with, with people in the community. And um, so we have a nomination and we have an award winner for this year. Um, her name is Suzanne Miller. And um, I'm going to have uh, Joe Barden actually tell you a little bit more about uh, Suzanne since uh, she's an employee of the order. Jessica mentions Law and Order being filmed in here today. And um, I recall a training that we had to go to by a very senior federal procurement officer who kept talking about the warrant he had from the government to do what he does. I had to remind them that the only kind of warrants we're familiar with in our neighborhoods have nothing to do with procurement. Um, now, while Susan's never likely to appear on the FBI's most wanted list. She is most definitely on the most wanted list for any um, senior citizen in any type of distress, housing or otherwise, within the county of Queens. Susan has been with Margaret Community Corp. And her bio is in the, the conference material, so I'm not going to you know, recite that. She's been with Margaret Community Corporation 23 years, um, came to us in, 18, in 1989, and has been a great, um, what's that right? She's going to say 18. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, none of us are that old yet, though, though I feel that way every morning. Um, Susan came to Margaret a long time ago. And, uh, <laughs> And has been, has been our weatherization director um, from the beginning and a great source of all our success. But the work that she does in weatherization um, is phenomenal, but she does not limit herself to that. You know, she is our go-to person for <laughs> our senior citizen needs within the county of Queens. And when I say most wanted, it's when somebody picks up the phone and there's a senior in distress on the phone, I say, can I help you, ma'am? No, I want to speak with Suzanne Miller. You know, that's just the way it is. Um, she is also um, a model, a true model, of both personal and professional development. Um, and a role model, I think, um, not only for women, for older women, um, or for um, minority women, um, but a true role model for anybody, especially who gets into the community development field. During her tenure at Margaret, she not only got her undergraduate degree, she went on to get her master's as well. You know, that's, um, that's some pretty good stuff. And she did that on her own time, you know, and the agency doesn't, you know, our agencies don't pick up tabs like that, you know? <laughs> so you have to be kind of self-motivated. Now, um, without any further ado, I'd like to actually introduce Suzanne Miller.
Umbrella Coalition members, honored guests, colleagues, and friends. I am thrilled and humbled to have been chosen as the recipient of this year's Louis R.C. Success Award and deeply grateful for being honored in this very special way by my peers. While I regret that I am unable to accept the award in person, I am sure you'll forgive me as I was simply unable to reschedule my long-awaited and well-deserved Caribbean cruise. <laughs> Please be sure that I am with you in spirit. What an unexpected pleasure it is to be recognized by one's peers for my daily work and services that so many, so many seem to take for granted. I take special delight in this moment because I have never considered my work a job. Like many in this room today, I have found a vocation in serving the needs of the most vulnerable in our communities, especially the elderly, the disabled, and single women with very young children. Adequate funding for the nonprofit programs and services which we provide is rarely available. It seems especially absent when we encounter families in crises. I am driven, driven to go that extra mile to ensure that each and every one of our constituents receives the highest quality of service they both need and deserve. My personal philosophy is that assistance to the needy is not always about money. Client education, empathy, encouragement, and a commitment to active listening are often far more vital to inspiring the hope and trust that empowers an individual or family to avoid falling into hopelessness. And while we may not always have real solutions to the real problems at any given time, they know that we at Margaret Community Corporation will find a way to set them on the right path. I would like to offer a special shout out to the board of staff and staff of Margaret, especially our executive director, Joe Barton, for their unwavering support and trust in the creative solutions I often deploy, regardless of how troublesome or problematic they may seem at the time. <laughs> Please allow me to leave you with this closing thought. To truly understand the clients we serve and to get things done right, we must have a true understanding of their plight. We must try our best to be non-judgmental and supportive. Listen closely and develop a realistic plan of action. Let's continue to go that extra mile to make good things happen for our clients. Believe me, there is nothing more rewarding than receiving telephone calls from clients you helped 10 and 20 years ago thanking you for improving their lives and the lives of their families. I live my life by this motto, let the work I do speak for me. Again, thank you for this prestigious award and enjoy the rest of your conference. We've asked our housing director, Stephanie Laws, to accept the award today on behalf of Suzanne Miller. to accept her award and keep her check. <laughs> She'll get the award, maybe not the check. But anyway, thank you on her behalf. For those of you, uh, thank you, Stephanie, very much. I appreciate that. For those of you not totally familiar with the, um, the Luis RC Success Award, it comes with a beautiful certificate of appreciation and it's beautifully framed, appropriate for hanging, and a check for the agency to continue to provide um, the good work that we do. And 
On behalf of Suzanne, the staff, and Margaret Community Corporation, I want to thank the coalition um, for being following Suzanne in such a manner. Thank you very much.